In this video, I'm going to go over creating land XMLs from the proposed surface terrain. I've also, at this point, have exported my entire CAD files folder. So here's my contract ID files folder I created. Here's my CAD files. In there would be all the terrains that I would create it project-wise. So I have one of those terrains open now, and I'm going to create two land XMLs from the proposed surface terrain. I'm going to create a proposed surface top. This file will contain the features and triangles created through exporting the XML file. And the keywords here are features and triangles for the proposed surface top. I'm also going to create a proposed paving XML file. This file will contain only the features created on export when creating the XML. And the keyword for the paving XML is features and it's not including the triangles. So I'm going to select my terrain. I'm going to pick the export terrain model land XML. You can see here's the export format. I'm going to select my terrain. Uh, here's the name. Let's go, I'm going to create the proposed paving one first. I'm not going to put in a project description. And you can see here now in my export options it says export both. I do not want to export both for the proposed paving XML. I only want to pick the features. So I'll go ahead and select features only. I will accept that. And here I'm going to place it in my contract ID folder. And I will have a machine control surfaces folder. And in there will be my XMLs for my machine control surfaces. I'll give this a name. This will just be proposed. Oops. paving and that will be followed by the name of the corridor and the county route parent coordinate system. I'll save that. This one already exists. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Now I'm going to create the other XML and this one will be the proposed surface top. Land XML. The name is proposed surface top. I'm not going to put in a project description. This one says export features only for the proposed surface top. I need to export both. And I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and save this. Proposed surface top. And that again, that will be followed by the corridor name and the county route parent coordinate system. I'll save that. Uh, it already exists. I created one earlier, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And that's it. So just to reiterate that again, for the proposed surface terrains, you're going to need to create two XML files. A proposed surface top, which includes the features and triangles, and a proposed paving, which only includes the features.